Job searching is already a really difficult task. Something that will for sure make it worse is to not stay organized, to try to keep it all in your head, try to juggle all the balls that are in the air while you're job searching is really, really difficult. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about how to think about organizing your jobs, how to think about stages, almost like leads and opportunities in a sales funnel, and how to make sure that you don't miss a single beat throughout your entire job search. So you might be thinking about setting up a spreadsheet that's gonna have companies and the position and the title and the location, and, and that would be fine. And if a spreadsheet is really for you, we're more than happy to share this. But what ends up happening is you don't track as much. You kind of get the job, okay, cool, this is a neat job. You copy paste all the information, which even copying and pasting is kind of a hassle. So I copy that, I paste that. Here's my job title. And then, you know, I'll just put like the company name. And you know, this, and you just, you spend so much time like building your own proprietary tool and you think about the stages and names and, it's just a lot of work and honestly, it's not the highest and best use of your time. You wanna be focusing on the job search itself and the opportunities, not building all these things and making it overcomplicated. I wanna show you a tool that is purpose built for managing and organizing your job search. It's the Teal Job Tracker. All right, so let's dive in. So when you first log into your Teal Job Tracker, you're gonna see that at the very top, it's got the stages for you. And the way we think about it is first, what are jobs that you've bookmarked, that you have an interest in? Think about things you put into your shopping cart that you're not even sure you're gonna buy them, but you're saving them for later. Then, what are the things I actually intend to apply to? I'm gonna start preparing, I'm gonna customize my resume, I might do some networking, some outreach. They're in the applying stage. Then what are the jobs I've applied to so that I can follow up after I submit that application? What are the jobs that I'm actively interviewing for? And then, you know, what are the ones that I'm negotiating for? Ideally, there's a few in there. If you run a really great organized process, it's not unrealistic to think that you've got two, three offers at the same time. But it doesn't happen by accident. It's because you've got to be deliberate. You've got to really think about your funnel and that you're getting jobs into your pipeline. All right, so let me show you how you would go about doing that. All right, so we're going to jump over to LinkedIn and search for some jobs we'd be excited about. So I'm on here looking at jobs on the LinkedIn search, and you'll notice that I've got this little duck here on the right. That's because I have the Teal job search extension installed, and there's gonna be a link in the description for you if you wanna go get it. It's free, and it makes it really easy to add jobs into your job tracker. So all that copy and pasting and the links and all that, you don't have to worry about any of that. So let's start to look for jobs we wanna bookmark. All right, and we're not gonna to apply to these. I, what I see a lot of people do at this stage of the job search is they think every job that they look at, they have to apply. Now it's a don't do that. Think about it as research, just interest. So I'm looking for product marketing jobs. So that one doesn't look entirely right. You know, the search results are gonna kind of fail. The algorithm's not gonna give you great results sometimes, but look, this one's director product marketing. Let's go ahead and save that. And a lot of times the job boards want you to save it natively, but we wanna use lots of job boards for this process. So let's go ahead and save that job. All right, we'll look at this head of growth marketing at Dish Network. Like I'm looking for product marketing, but that might be a job I'd consider. So let me just go ahead and save it. Um, looking director of partnerships, you know, say I've done that in the past. So let's go ahead and save that. Oh, this one's perfect. Director of product marketing. So we'll save that. And so you get the idea here. The goal is to start to save a bunch of jobs. You don't necessarily need to apply to these yet. You can take them out of your funnel, but you wanna have that information and put these in that bookmarked stage. This is again a reason why you would wanna use a tool that's purpose built for this, because if you have to put in so much effort to add these to your spreadsheet tracker, or even a Notion or an Airtable, it's just a lot of work and that much friction is gonna result in you not doing it. So using a tool like this or some other job tracking tools is gonna to make it really easy to add more jobs into your job tracker. Let's go ahead and add one more. All right, so now we will view our bookmark jobs. And so now in our job tracker, we've got all the jobs in a consistent interface. Uh, and we can see our stages that we can move our job through. Let's go back over to the spreadsheet view. And this is gonna look just like a spreadsheet. So if you were to set up that Excel doc, Google doc to track it, 
It's all right here. So it's a very familiar interface and you don't need to worry about that. But now let's think about the jobs we wanna move forward in our funnel. So I could very quickly rate them. So the one at Workday was interesting to me. I liked the one at Gloss Genius. At partnerships, I, I kind of don't want to do partnerships. Head of growth could be a cool, uh, you know, growth for me in my career as Tina. And then director of product marketing, that one was pretty cool too. So now I'll go ahead and rate, I'll sort them by my excitement by just clicking on that. And, you know, this job, if I want to get these applications out, I'm just going to go ahead and archive it because it's probably not one I'm going to apply to. And these, I'm gonna go ahead and move them over to the applying stage, all right? That doesn't necessarily mean that I need to apply to all of them, but I'm kind of organizing that those are ones I intend to apply to. You may not have the time to do it. Some you may wanna do faster than others. You know, if they've been in the applied stage for a long time, then you can crop, you know, sort of um, just call them out later. But now let's go into one of these jobs. And so now that it's in the applying stage, the Teal Job Tracker is gonna give me guidance and tips of things to do. So I wanna see if I know anybody at that company. And it's gonna automatically search for me. Tina doesn't have any first connections. So we'll show the results. Maybe it won't go straight for the CEO, but maybe I can try to connect with this director of talent. That seems like a good person to connect with. I'll use the Teal Chrome extension. I don't know this person uh, at all. So, um, I'll just tag them as other. My goal is to maybe try to set up an informational interview. I'm gonna contact them and set myself a reminder for next Monday. And save that, and that's gonna go over to my Teal Job Tracker. I'm gonna go ahead and copy their name uh, to have that for later, but if I go over to my viewed contacts, and there they are, All right? So that's saved. So if I go back over to the job now, part of being organized is keeping track of the people that are connected to the opportunities. So if I go over here to the contacts in the job tracker, I'll just paste that name in. And so there it is. And now that person is connected to this opportunity. And that is part of staying organized. You wanna weave all these things together, connect that sort of graph of, of nodes, contacts, opportunities, companies and keep it all in one place. So I'm gonna prepare, I'm gonna kind of check through my sub stages, you know, maybe I got that referral, I've customized my resume, didn't need a cover letter, I did identify a recruiter at the company, and then eventually I'm gonna submit my application. So I'm gonna move it to applied, all right? And so there's other things I can do, I can send my follow-ups, and I can set myself reminders and a follow-up date for, you know, let's say next, the following Monday, I wanna get a follow-up and I'm gonna get an email reminding me to do it. And now if I go back to my spreadsheet view, I can see that I've got three jobs in the applying stage, I've got one job in the applied stage, and I can very quickly filter them and stay organized, whether it's every day, once a week, depending on the cadence of your job search, bringing that rigor to your job search is gonna really help you stay on top of everything. All that feeling of overwhelm of all these jobs you've applied to, did they get back to me, did they not? If it's all in a tracker and organized, it's gonna take that stress away and really reduce the chances that something's gonna slip through the cracks and you're gonna miss out on an opportunity. And so the goal here is to wash, rinse, repeat, do that again, right? We can now also layer in another job board into the mix. So a cool thing about using the Teal Job Tracker in particular is that you can use a bunch of different job boards. So here I am on Google's job board and you can check out our other video on how to use lots of job boards. But here I can find jobs that I find interesting. Um, let's see here, you know, this uh, director of product marketing, great. I'll go ahead and now continue to add jobs into my tracker. And you wanna go through this process and honestly do it every day if you can. New jobs are posted daily to all of these different sites. So you never know what opportunity is gonna show up. And so I would schedule a time, whether it's in the evenings, in the mornings, in the afternoon, even if it's just 30 minutes. You don't need to do the whole application. You don't need to decide in that moment if this is a job you are absolutely gonna to apply to. Just start to keep filling that funnel. Come in and look, you know, so 
um, associate director, that's a good one. Go ahead and start to save these jobs. Fastly, a great company, that's really cool. Go ahead and save it. And then go back to your job tracker and do the same process. The ones that you're interested in, move them over to the applying stage. The ones that you're less interested in, just go ahead and archive it, right? And Or you can leave it and you know decide later and you work through your funnel. And so now you can quickly see, I've got one job in the applied stage. I'll go back, check, did I hear from them? Let me go ahead and take some notes on that job. I'm gonna maybe do some additional research. I might try to find other contacts, but this is a way that you develop a system and organization to not lose track of anything in the job search. And like I said, it's really gonna reduce the stress, really gonna reduce, reduce the angst around all the things that are moving throughout the job search. All right, so there's some tips on how to organize your job search and a free tool that'll help you do it really, really well. If there's other things you'd like to see in the job search, just please let us know down in the comments and we will get it made as fast as we can. All right, best of luck and hope you land that job you love.